guys, welcome back to My Sweet Cocoon Baking with me, Daniela, and today I'm going to be sharing a recipe for blueberry muffins, which I have been wanting to do for a while. Actually, I have filmed this video before, but they didn't go quite right. So here I am trying again, and there is a high possibility that this one will actually be posted. I mean, if you're seeing it, then it means it works. Um, so anyways, these are going to be super nice, soft, and so, so delicious. So I hope you guys enjoy, because there's muffin better than a muffin. Bad pun totally intended. Let's get started. <laughs> So first things first, I'm going to start off by cracking some eggs into my bowl, but I will do it into a small bowl first to make sure there's nothing wrong with the egg. So I'm going to crack. Very nice. And just add that in. So I'm simply just going to mix my eggs up a little bit until they're just like roughly combined. You don't need to like fully like put your whole power into this. Um, just, just give it a little whisk. Now I'll be adding in some milk. And I'm using lactose-free milk, but you can use regular milk if you want. And again, I'm just going to mix it up. And I'm also going to be adding in some sunflower oil. And you can use like rapeseed oil or canola oil as well because they don't have any flavor, so it won't affect um, the flavor of your sponge. So add that in and mix again. Now I'm going to be zesting one lemon and this is just so nice in blueberry muffins. I'm sure if you've seen other blueberry muffin recipes, they do tend to have lemon as well. Some of them don't, but I think it actually adds a really nice flavor and it just goes so well. So I'm going to grate the whole lemon. <laughs> just as a little bonus i'm also going to be adding the juice of a lemon and oh, <laughs> i'm just rolling the lemon on the counter and this is just going to loosen the juices and as you can see if you press it it's really really soft now and um that means that the juices have kind of been released and I'm just going to use one of the bowls that I used before. This one had the oil inside. And I'm going to cut my lemon. And put the juice into here. There you go. See how easy you can get all of that juice? This is the point at which I like to switch from a whisk to a wooden spoon. And the reason for that is... Um, the zest of the lemon can get caught in these little things and then you basically lose all the hard work you've just done. So, I highly recommend switching to a wooden spoon and just, again, give it a little mix. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding in my caster sugar. So to finish off these cupcakes, not cupcakes, muffins, how dare I, I'm going to be adding some flour and I'm not going to add all of it and I'll tell you guys why in just a second. So add in majority of your flour and just leave a little bit behind, like something like that. It's not a huge amount, just a few tablespoons. And uh, with your flour right now, you'll just want to give it a little mix. And again, don't beat this because otherwise your muffins won't rise. They're going to stay quite flat. Um, so just give it a little mix. And you'll also want to add in your bicarb or bicarbonate of soda, baking soda, as well as some baking powder. 
and this will help our muffins rise even more which is great exactly what we want and a little pinch of salt and just continue mixing now guys listen in what i wanted to tell you is that these blueberries should be coated with the rest of your flour so i'm just going to pour that in and give my blueberries a little mix so i'll do it with my fingers actually because eh, there's no issue and make sure you've washed your blueberries guys because you don't want unwashed blueberries and basically the reason why i'm doing this is because it will stop them from sinking to the bottom if they have been coated with flour um it'll just allow them to stay up which is quite nice uh, you don't want them all to sink to the bottom and there you go we add that in now all right guys so i have a tray over here and i have these little singular singular oh my gosh single <laughs> uh cupcake uh, little cases and um, you can use regular cupcake uh, trays if you want if you have muffin tins that is great because these are muffins as long as you fill these up a little more than you usually would a cupcake then that's totally fine and also i have some baking paper here it's quite quite a thick roll <laughs> um and i'm going to be cutting out some little like kind of how do i say it rectangle I don't really even know if it's a rectangle to be honest but I'm going to cut some and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as a cupcake case so I'm going to put it in one for example like that and then I'll cut around it so I can see that obviously this is too narrow um, but I'll show you guys what I mean so as you guys can see here so I just cut this bit of parchment paper in half and I cut it in half again and I kind of just pushed it into here and it has that like really cute kind of paper case that you would get like kind of bakery style and I have some butter here because I'm going to use it just at the bottom of each little case uh, just so I can secure the paper and I might use some on the sides it doesn't need to be super well greased um, and then that will just help it to stay and then you can start pouring your batter in So to finish off these muffins, I'm going to add a tiny bit of caster sugar on top. Oh gosh, that's a lot. <laughs> on top of each one, uh, just so they can get that really nice kind of crunch. And I'll show you what that actually entails afterwards. You'll see once these come out of the oven. But it's going to be so, so incredibly nice. So I'm going to set my oven to 180 degrees Celsius and I'm going to put these in there for about 20 minutes. They might need a little bit more so keep an eye on them and check with the skewer if you poke it in and it comes out clean they're done. If not just keep them in there for a couple minutes longer and make sure to keep an eye on them so they don't burn. <laughs> um, and let's get these in. these muffins guys they look so adorable like so cute I absolutely love them and I can't wait to try one but I'm actually going to try one of the other ones that is not in one of these cases I managed to get 12 muffins which is actually really really good so um, it really depends how much batter you put in as well and oh my gosh I'm so excited to try Okay, so this is what I was talking about. This is the muffins that I want to try. Okay, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it's so incredibly soft. 
and I love that so so much oh this was a bad example because this one barely has any blueberries I think it only has the one but I'll show you the inside of another one in a second mmm wow this is so fluffy and really moist as well mmm So good. And the sugar on the top really adds a nice crunch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe down below and give it a huge thumbs up. And um, yeah, I'll see you next week with another recipe. I don't know what it is yet, but I might mention it in the comments down below. So go check them out and leave a comment as well telling me what recipes you'd like to see more of and yeah i'm just gonna keep eating these mm.